Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to Harvest Moon 64. It's the part of the game where I probably would have stopped playing if I weren't actually recording it for the Internet's sake. Yeah, it's pretty boring these days, because we're just kind of doing the same thing every single day. And probably nothing new is going to happen until autumn, which is a shame. Oh well. I'll have to find some way to make the episode more entertaining. Maybe I'll goof off a bit. Maybe I'll give free fodder to everyone in town. I'll, sh I'll try to think of something. Or maybe I'll just try to blow through as many days as I possibly can. As quickly as I possibly can. One of the, one of the two. Wait a second. Hang on. Hang on! I thought... Okay. So, I thought I was on a pretty late day in summer. I loaded all my save states, and the latest I was at was summer 12. But it's possible I saved... Oh, no. Um... That might be really, 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 really bad. I gotta check something. Oh, no! Oh, I took so many pictures during the trip. Here's a memento from the one. Okay. Whew. First, I thought I accidentally erased like an entire hours of worth of progress, but no. Okay, good, good. The blue mist flower. That's from the photo event that happened last time. Okay. Because okay, heads up. It's been over a month since I've played this last. So... I didn't remember exactly where I was. I am so glad, though, that I didn't erase that entire episode's worth of progress. That would have been the worst. Granted, I just erased my progress on my farm, like, but that's easy enough to fix. Okay. <sighs> Big sigh of relief. Hey, Harris. Wow, thank you very much. It's difficult to convey all of your feelings in conversation. But with letters, it's even harder. It's true. Because there's no body language to go off of. What's up, Rick? It's been a while. Oh, thank you so much. May look flat, but everyone's life has its hills and valleys. I should probably start befriending everybody, not just the important people. <laughs> hey, Saibara. Nothing else left to sell, huh? Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's hot every day. Blah, blah, blah even after the sun sets. I envy that, Weber. It is freezing cold where I am right now. I finally realized where I'm the most at peace. Aww. What can I say? Life itself has not changed much, but I still love tea. It's like a sunny spot in spring. I need lots of potatoes, please. Twenty, to be precise. Look at all that money I have. Like, it's ridiculous. What could you possibly ever need that much money for? And I feel like I'm letting the viewers down by having really boring content all the time. It is important for me to catch a lot of fish, though, to get the best evaluation at the end. I suppose I could get more into that. So basically, how the evaluation works is your dad comes to your farm in early summer, like the second day of summer, third year. And there are a couple things he judges you on. He basically goes around town and talks to a bunch of different people, and they basically tell him how, what they think of you. So he talks to Basil, Doug, the fisherman, the gourmet judge, the mayor, the midwife, the potion shop dealer, um, the head carpenter, the one other person. I'm trying to remember who the one other person is. I don't know. So basically, for the mayor's best evaluation, you need to ha be at a, have everyone at a high affection towards you, basically. So you need to be friends with everyone. For the midwife, you need to have all the girls at a pink heart. For the potion shop dealer, you uh, have to have found several of the power nuts. As well as, um, you can't have gotten sick more than twice. For basils, you just have to have, I think, 80% of your farm have grass or flowers of some kind planted. Uh, for Doug, you need to have, like, a lot of animals, at least one cow, at least one sheep. And have, like, shipped a certain amount of animal products, I think. The fishermen, you need to have, I can't remember if it's caught or sold, like, a lot of fish. 
Okay, I can't remember if it's caught or sold, so I'm just trying to sell a lot. The Gourmet Judge, you need to have all the recipes. Uh, who else is there? Who else is there? The Head Carpenter, you need to have built all of the home extensions, which I'm all covered on. Oh yeah, one of the other evaluators is Zack the Buyer, and he grades you based on how much stuff you've shipped. And that's a pretty hard one to get, because you need to have shipped a ton, which is why I'm still even bothering growing crops in the first place. Otherwise, I would just be like, I've got all the money I need, don't need to work anymore. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya, that kind of thing. Anyways, after your dad ev like gets the evaluations from all the different people, he comes to your farm, and as long as you have like eight animals, at least one sheep, at least one cow, and they're all out in the pasture, he'll be very happy. And then like your ten best friends will have a party with you. Also, uh, at the end, there's also the requirements to get the last photo, which are very extensive, where it's like, you need to give, like, all the power notes, you need to have, like, everybody love you, you need to have, like, a ton of your field grown with grass, that kind of thing. Like, I don't know the exact requirements, which is probably bad. Aw, uh, why can't I take the shortcut? <laughs> Summer's a problem because cakes spoil easily. And she's just staring into the space where her grandma used to be. That is very sad. Here you go. Oh, thank you very much. How have you gone fishing yet? Were you not seeing me? I was fishing up a storm. I wish you could go out into town with your wife. That would be great. Because I feel like your wife doesn't really do anything once she once you marry her. Which, to be honest, is kind of sexist. <laughs> At least, the game, that's why I like the Game Boy Advance one, because your wife can actually keep her job. You can still be like, no, I want you to be, like, the like on the farm. Well, you can for some of them. Ellie and... I think Mary or slash Maria, I think they have to keep their job because nobody else is there to fill it in for them. But the others, you could be like, no, you're quitting your job now that we're married. And they're totally cool with it, too, which is, I mean, that's nice, so you're not like a huge jerk, but also it's like, well, you'd think it would be a little more progressive than that. So hot every day, I'm ready to drop, poppery. The sea is best in summer, Karen. Who wants an orange? Oh, thank you very much! Now I don't have to walk five steps outside my house! Smooch, 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 No, my fish! Man, why is my- why am I dropping everything on the ground? That's like the fifth thing this episode that I've dropped on the ground. Hmm, failed again. What went wrong? I don't know, Rick. Sometimes you just gotta recompile the code and run it again. Hey kids, <laughs> I got potatoes for you. <laughs> it's, it's it's a good thing this town everyone's so friendly because otherwise this would come off as a little weird, kind of creepy. All right, Mayor's gonna come to my house and be like, "It's the Spirit Festival tonight." Hey. It's the Firefly Festival tonight. Why don't you join us? We go to the beach to float the Firefly lights. Those are... Well, you remember from last year. <laughs> well, goodbye. See you later. Whoa, how did you walk through my horse? Oh, thank you very much. Hi, have you gone fishing yet? Watch me right freaking now. <laughs> I gave you that fishing pole over a year ago. Have you used it? Yes, I've caught like a hundred fish. I don't believe you. I've given some to you. I don't bullet it by it. <laughs> Who you came? Go and mingle. I'll give you a firefly light later. Wow, like everybody's here now. This is great. I don't want to float this flower. Do the spirits exist? I can't believe it. Your grandpa's probably around here somewhere. The old traditions calm the soul. I don't know about spirits, but I think it's good to remember those who have passed away. Smooch. I agree. There's never any moon or stars on this night, so it becomes very dark once we float away the lights. That's weird. Anne is looking more like our departed mother. Oh, really? 
It looks like they're holding hands and not gray and poppery. I hope my grandparents are at peace. I hope so too, Kai. Oh, you came! Go and mingle! I'll give you a firefly light later. The spirits of our ancestors came for the festival, and on this night, we light their way back to heaven. Not theologically sound. I don't like superstitions like this. That's understandable, Cliff. Grandma, we have followed your wishes and continue to grow flowers. Rest at ease. It's very bright. A piece of moonlight stone is in this flower. That's what we've been selling them for. They may be watching us from somewhere. What? I mean my grandma. Or your grandpa. Grandma, I'm doing fine, so don't worry. I always feel solemn on this day. Yep. That's kind of what happens when you're honoring the dead. It is later. Shh, it's too early to go home. We're not letting you go. So let's float our firefly lights to see. Honey, let's go home. Yes, today was a good day, and I'm going to have a good sleep. Hey, gods. I feel calm, as if in a dream. Humph! I can't express it well. It's okay, dude. Oh, hi. Just watching the ocean. What? Kai, are you feeling okay? There's no ocean around us. Okay, the shortcut's back. Excellent. <laughs> Is Kai supposed to be at the beach today, but he's not? Ah, I can't take the monotony anymore! I've got to shake it up somehow. I've got it. I know what I'm going to do. It's a bit of a jerkish move, but oh, they're not even open. You've got to be kidding me. You know what I'm going to do today? Today, I am going to give a piece of fodder to everybody I know. I can't do anything when I get this. Hey, Anne. I don't need it. <laughs> hey, Cliff. I don't want that. They're being fairly polite about it, though, which is nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm such a terrible person. Well, I can't do anything with this. Actually, she's very gracious about it. Hey, Pasha Shop Dealer. I don't need this. They're, uh, this is not as funny as I thought it would be. I thought they'd get more outraged. Oh, thank you very much. I tell you, medicine's not for making you stronger. It just helps you recover from aches and pains. Oh. That's actually something different. Thank you for breaking up the monotony of my life. How would you like some fodder, Harris? I'm sorry, but I don't know how to use it. You, well, you give it to your animals. Fine, have a flower. Wow, thank you very much. I hope people will continue to write letters in the future, even if more convenient means are developed. Yeah. Hey, midwife. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's valuable. It's not. Hey, Mayor, I have some fodder for you. I think somebody else wants that. No, nobody wants it. It's so weird. No, everybody's just been like, I don't need that. Who else wants some fodder? Delicious, delicious fodder. Rick, I know you want some fodder. Me? I don't need this. Well, then you've just got bad taste. Oh, no. I can't give it to Ellie and the Bakery Master. Hey, kids! What is this? It's grass. The cows eat. What is it? It's grass. The cows eat. I don't know very well. It's grass. The cows eat. What's well, so hard to understand? I really don't know the value of it. It's grass. The cows eat. Here, Batzel. Even if I took it, I wouldn't have a use for it. <laughs> well, you can buy a cow. They sell them at Green Ranch. Hey, Lilia. Thank you, but I don't know how to use it. She even thanked me for it. She is so sweet. Oh my gosh. The niceness is overwhelming. Oh, I never showed fodder to Ellie's grandma. I think she's like, ooh, what a mischievous child you are. Or mischievous, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't wait to see Karen's reaction. 
Hey, Karen, we have grass. I don't want it. Oh, that's not even the, the best reaction she can give. Hey, Kai. What's this? It's grass that cows eat. Hey, dude, this is grass that cows eat. Sorry, but it's meaningless to me. Then buy a cow. It's that easy. Hey, Karen's mom, have this. It's a problem. I don't know what to do with it. Find a cow and feed it. It's that simple. Nobody appreciates my fodder. I can't believe it. Oh, Bakery Master, here we go. I think someone else wants that. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Here, Carpenter. Even if you give it to me, I don't know how to use it. Here, Head Carpenter. No thanks. But he takes it anyways! What the heck? <laughs> Even if you give it to me, I don't know how to use it. Oh yeah, you're basically the same character. Hey, Ellie! Thank you, but I don't know what this is for. Okay, the people are not reacting how I hoped they would. I was hoping people would get more upset. Maybe if I try to poison them in the fall, then that, <laughs> they'll react more strongly. Because fodder is not like a bad vein, it's literally just cut grass, but... I don't recall ever hearing that sound before in Harvest Moon. Forget giving gifts. I'm just gonna go fishing today. You've been watching me for hours. Dude, you are watching me fish right now. Now you can't ever say that again. And I think that will put an end to this long and dreary two-recording session episode. Thanks for watching, I'm Color40. Tune in next time, hopefully we can finish up summer. Have a great day, and God bless.